Well, good morning, guys. Uh, believe it or not, another year is drawing to an end. It's December 15th. It's a beautiful day out here, and behind me are the last logs that I'm gonna tackle for 2022. Let's get started. I think I was right on the verge of leaving this out too long. But they're spalting. It's, it looks like the outside is just starting to get soft, but we can save that. Most of it anyway. Wire wheel make it look like brand new. Oh man. is heavy. Whew. Man, that is nice looking stuff. All right, I'm going to roll this log over 180.
nice, nice. My cut is a little wavy because I've, uh, I'm running a 10 degree blade that's pretty worn out. 10 degrees, a little uh, aggressive for hardwoods, but it's all I got. And I've only got one fresh blade after that, so I'm gonna make that blade work for the rest of this. I mentioned oak is heavy Whew. and pretty. Awesome. Whew, big hump in that one, but we can flatten that out later. This has got the pith of the tree in it anyway, so. Well guys, this is one I wasn't planning on milling today. It's in particularly bad shape. It's got a lot of damage to it from uh, probably an excavator or something. It literally has grass growing out of it. But I think that this stuff is about to go bad and if it's anything like the stuff I milled last year, it's gonna be awesome. And I just don't wanna let it go to waste. So let's open her up and see what we got. Now, if you're thinking this doesn't look like English walnut because there's no variation in color, it's not real dark in the middle and light on the outside, it's because this log has been sitting for, I think, close to five years. It just goes to a kind of a uniform light brown and it, it's got all these crazy bird eyes in it. And man, does this stuff finish out nice.
Guys, I've been getting a lot of requests for charcuterie boards all of a sudden. I cut the butt end of that last log off, hoping that I can take some cookies out of this. The center's a little soft, so it's gonna be questionable. I might have to do some epoxy stabilizing, but let's cut some slices and see what happens. All right, well, I've got my last piece of English walnut here. This piece has only been down for five or six months, maybe a little longer. This thing is covered in limbs, big limbs, and so trying to cut it into lumber will not go well. My plan is to cut off this end of it to cut some more charcuterie boards. And then I've got these big knobs all over this thing that were probably limbs that were cut off and then grown over. For those of you that have been waiting for me to cut something for a, a bowl turner that's what i'm going to do with this for those of you interested in the turning uh you're going to want to stick around for my next video that's all i can say right now because uh it's a collaboration with a couple other guys so stick around for that but i'm going to cut about two feet off of the end of this set it up there to cut cookies and then the rest of it i'm going to cut into big chunks uh for turning Well, these might be some epoxy charcuterie boards. It's rotten in the center. Oh well, let's get it on the mill.
Well guys, in my last video, I got a comment from somebody who uh, has decided that we're being fooled into finding character and beauty in wood like this that uh, just needs a bunch of epoxy to make it work. And uh, well, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but uh, what do you guys think of this? I think this stuff is going to make incredible charcuterie boards clocks whatever uh, your imagination is the only limit here well guys before I cut up that last bit of walnut I'm gonna do some research and uh, try and make the best cuts I can on that piece of wood to yield the best project material on a lathe I don't have a lot of time on a lathe but I intend to change that here soon I appreciate you guys hanging out for my last saw milling of the year it's not my last video of the year like I said next week I've got a three-way collaboration coming up with Gary the bearded woodworker and Andrew the bearded giant we're making each other Christmas gifts and none of us knows what the other person's making but mine have been shipped I've received Andrews and I should be receiving Gary's today that video will be up the Friday before Christmas for all three of us. And on Christmas day, we will do the unboxing videos, all three of us, our own videos. So a lot to look forward to. Thanks again for watching guys. We'll see you next week.